there is an icon that we're going to look at shortly that says end of day. So we're going to talk about what that icon is and what it does, why it matters, and running end of day is relevant and or important. On the left-hand side toolbar, underneath my quick launch section, I've got the reporting module of our writer. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up my reporting module. We're going to start off by just clicking on the end of day icon here in the upper left-hand corner. I've got it password protected, so not everybody can go run an end of day. It says this will require the exclusive use of the database. You must exit all our writer applications before this procedure. This message is no longer 100% accurate, so it'll go through the end of day process, even if there's somebody else in the database. So I clicked on end of day. It's going to think for a moment, and then eventually it's going to just go away. Well, that seems to be not very eventful. What we're actually doing in the background is a bunch of different uh, database steps. Now, I've taken all of the different options out of my end of day process. We're gonna go back and we're gonna talk about what some of those options are as we go through. But as I ran end of day, it did a number of things in the background to the data itself in order to make sure that we're in a good place as far as my data is concerned. Now we've got some options as far as end of day is concerned. We're gonna go turn them on, then come back in and run our end of day again, talk about the difference. So we're gonna move from our reporting module back over to my core point of sale and then open up configuration. The first option we're going to talk about is underneath the file menu and then down to general options. As I get into this window here, the relevant setting is down here at the bottom where it says automatically check out employees during end of day. What this is really going to do is as we run end of day, it's going to bring up the time clock so that I can then punch people out if necessary, edit my time card if there were punches that were not punched in and or out appropriately for the day. It says automatically check out employees during end of day. It doesn't punch them out automatically. It gives us the opportunity to review the time clock activity for that day. I'm going to click on OK. Underneath configuration, the next place we're going to go is underneath repair order, and then over to RO options. Over on the right-hand side under the parts section, there is an option here that says reset neg on hands to zero during end of day, neg being short for negative. So another one of the options that we can have during end of day is if I sold something and the on hand value went below zero, then we can have the system automatically set those back to zero. Kind of, but not really a fan of this functionality, meaning I'm not a big fan of allowing my inventory to go negative. I would much prefer that we actually uh, you know, accommodate that inventory sale by either receiving it through accounts payable or on a purchase order. However, this will flag those. And then what it also does is it creates a parts adjustment record. So when I do that, it's not as if it does that without allowing for any tracking. It's going to create an adjustment for those. So we'll see in our lost stock report an adjustment done for anything where the on-hand value has been moved from a negative value back to zero. So our second option, reset negative on hands to zero during end of day. I'm gonna click on OK. I'm going to go under configuration, down to electronic payment setup. Now, whether you knew it or not, we do have two different credit card integrations that work with our writer, one through a company called PayPros, one through a company called Merchant Partners. We're gonna turn on the PayPros integration because as we use that integration during the end of day, we can have it ask if we'd like to settle our batch for the day. We're gonna turn it on and then click on OK. And then the last place I was gonna stop was back to my core point of sale and over into my marketing and follow-up module. In here, underneath auto follow-up, there is an option for closed RO follow-up. What that does is it says, okay, I'm going to go back to the last time you sent closed repair order follow-up. So, you know, so every invoice that was finalized from that point in time forward, we're going to send a letter, email, whatever media we're using, come in here and I can do this manually. However, I'd rather have it just happen without me actually having to go through the steps. So what I can do over in the setup is in here, there's an option that says send repair order follow-up during EOD. EOD meaning end of day, and your options are never, always, or prompt. If I set it to prompt, as you go through end of day, it's going to ask you, would you like to 
or would you not like to send your follow-up letters? If that's something that I want to do, then I'm going to set it to always because I always want that to happen. I don't want to give the end user an option. Again, if I set it to prompt, then the end user could say, yes, I'd like to do that, or no, I don't want to do that. My recommendation would be to set that to always. Now, I'm going to set it to prompt. And I'm going to do that so that as we go through the end of day process, we'll see the impact of that setting. And then the other option here is, well, what output media should I create? Your options are letter, email or letter, email or email and. So again, you can just define your output media as we go through. I'm going to leave it set to email or letter. Because again, I want to either send them an email or if I have to go snail mail, we'll put it through an envelope and off it goes. Again, if you want the very easy and or very low cost option, then just sending an email, we'll send those emails out, not necessarily print that hard copy letter, but those are your options. I see I change it from never to prompt, and I'm gonna click on okay. Get a message box that says closed RO follow will be sent for repair orders closed from now forward. Anytime you change that value from never to either always or prompt, it sets the date, meaning it says, okay, we're doing it from this point forward. Whatever happened in the past happened in the past. And again, it's telling us it's resetting that date. So we appreciate the fact that we've reset the date. We're going to hit the X and close back out of there. One last place that we're going to stop before we close and reopen our writer, go back and rerun our end of day. And that's over into the word processor. So if I'm using the marketing and follow-up module to go ahead and send those letters and or emails, well, I want to take a look and see what does that actually look like? Because in that setup, we never told it, here's the actual media that we're going to send. In our drop-down box under working document, there is one that's called the repair order follow-up. This is the letter that we're going to send as part of that end of day process. So if I wanted to make any changes to this, then I could do that by coming in, making my modifications, saving them. The repair order follow-up letter, that named letter is the one that we're going to use. So again, if you're going to turn that on, go take a look and see what that looks like before you actually start sending that off to your customers or printing letters off. So we're going to close out of the ER Writer mod, the ER Writer program, because we did make some changes in our configuration. So we want to go ahead and allow those changes to take place. We'll get our writer back up here, and then now we're going to open up reporting. And I'm going to click on that end of day icon again putting my password in and then telling it that it's okay to go ahead and run my end of day. The first thing we get is the time clock. So when we went in to the configuration general options screen and we said automatically clock out employees during end of day, it says, well, here's your time clock. I'm looking at the window. Well, you know what? Bart forgot to punch out. So I'm going to highlight Bart. And then if you'll notice, punch out work, punch out meal, punch out break. That other option in general options, where it said use time card reason, turns on that work, meal, or break. If I don't have that set, then there's just an option to punch in or punch out. So if we're going home for the day, then we're going to probably want to punch our friend Bart out. So we're going to punch him out from work for the day. And it asks if I'd like to do that. I'm going to confirm that that was intentional. And then now we've got our employees punched out. If I needed to, I could come and I could edit my time card. It still goes through my same background processes. You'll notice it now says updating inventory. We turned on a flag that said reset negative on hand to zero during end of day. So this step is going to take a little bit longer than it did before, simply because, again, there's a little bit more for it to do. It comes up and asks me, would you like to settle your electronic payments? Again, we went into configuration underneath the electronic payment processing option, and we turned on e-payment. The opportunity to settle your electronic payments is through the PayPros open edge process. We're not going to settle our electronic payments, but now my question, should we send follow-up emails slash letters for recently closed repair orders? Again, over the marketing module, we told it to prompt. Now I'm not gonna have it go through the paces of either generating letters and or sending email, but you can see the difference in the behavior as we've turned on those different options. So now we're at the end of our end of day process. Now, I said it does some background pieces. I want to talk at least for a second about a couple of the other things that it does in the background. First one is, if we look over in the inventory module, and under my view, add edit window, we're just going to bring up the part I've got in my master inventory. 
And over on my other information tab down here at the bottom, we've got our rolling 12 month sales history. This is not really a rolling 12 month sales history. What this is, is 11 months and current months to date. When you run your end of day on the last calendar day of each month, it resets the next month. So, so on, in theory, on October 31st, when I run my end of day, it says, okay, tomorrow's November. I'm going to flag November back to zero so that we can start counting exactly how many parts we sold in that month of November. If it didn't get reset during end of day, you'll get a little message that says, please wait while the sales totals are initialized. I'm going to go back over into the reporting module. One of the other things it does is it actually creates a snapshot of both my inventory and my outstanding accounts receivable balances. Underneath my sales report, the second one down in my list is my shop performance report. I'm gonna go ahead and select that one and click on print. It's gonna think for a moment and then it's gonna go ahead and it's going to pull up to the screen. And in here, there are two sections that are impacted by running end of day. The first one in my lower right-hand corner, is my accounts receivable summary. What was my beginning AR balance and my ending AR balance for the day? And if you're running your end of day, I could go run this for December 31st, 2019, and it would tell me, well, here was my outstanding AR liability as I finished up my year. So I could come back at any point in time and get that beginning AR balance. Same for, on page two, up here at the top, my beginning and my ending inventory balance. So that same concept of, Hey, as I finished up my year, my month, my quarter, what was my on-hand inventory balance? So as we run end of day, it's taking that snapshot and saving that data. So end of day as an icon, again, run it to help make sure that you're going through those processes. And even if you're not using the time clock, you're not using the marketing and follow-up, you're not processing your batch for your electronic payments, still recommend you go through it. As you go through to close your business for the day, Let's start by running the end of day icon. 